Before proceeding further, please make note of this disclaimer. This video is not suitable for children under 13 years of age. With respect to COPPA and any other local laws, this video in my entire channel is not directed towards children. These videos can contain violence, language, gambling mechanics, opinion pieces, and or imagery that is not appropriate for children. So if you are a child, which is in North America defined as under 13 years of age, please stop watching this video now and go to another channel, as my videos are intended for ages 13 years and older. Hello everyone, Mixfant Gaming here. Welcome to my channel, your place for news and gameplay. Some good, some bad, and let's be honest, likely some rage and tilting. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications. Today we're taking a look at some test server action. On Friday, I believe it was for me, it was like Thursday night, I was able to sneak on the test server, so I was able to put ahead a video of just the three robots that were coming up that were going to be on the test server. So now we're going to have a quick look at them. Uh, I hope that we're not going to have a huge amount of lag because I spent the last hour and 12 minutes, so that's 72 minutes, trying to set up this damn hangar. There was just so much lag, and it was being unresponsive. It was absolutely insane. And I'm not exaggerating here when I say this. Between the lag and waiting for the game to respond between button presses, I was actually able to make my lunch and eat it. And I still hadn't had my hanger all set up. It was hugely disappointing of this amount of lag that just in the hanger alone. And I haven't even gotten into a game yet. So anyways, let's quickly go over my hanger and we will then hop into a game or two. Just because of the amount of lag I was having, I just decided to make an average overall hanger and I was going to put in just one of each of the three new bots. Initially, I kind of wanted to do three separate hangers of all the new bots, but just with this amount of leg I was having, there's no way I was going to sit through all that. So anyways, let's go quickly in here and see what we have. So right off, I'm running the Ao Ming with the rocket setups, the Rupture and the Tsar. And in I put in the Leech with Storm to try and deal with either Arthur or Kid Titans. And anything that happened to be running energy shields. Uh, I can't remember which one. There is one of, the, uh, one of the bots that has a regenerative Aegis shield. I can't remember now. If it, I think that might be the community bot. The, uh, the Cerberus. But anyways, we'll, we'll see when we get into the gameplay. Uh, I, as for modules, I have anti-control, last stand, heavy armor kit. And I threw in the phase shift for this. Because I actually do have healing on my pilot. For the Cerberus, I have two Scourge and a Calamity with the modules of Anti-Control Last Stand. I was actually surprised to see this bot come in and there's not a third module slot. That seems to be kind of the standard these days of three module slots. But So I was actually kind of surprised that there's only two. Now, I put on the Advanced Repair Unit here. I didn't want to put on the Advanced Repair Unit, but the three new bots, they don't have any skills for pilots. So this is why I, I went and put an Adrian pilot on each one of these, so at least I would get an additional skill. Because if you go into the Adrian pilot here, so I have the increased weapon damage from the Adrian skill itself, and I have the increased weapon damage for the Scourge and the Calamity. But if you watch it, if I hit train, and I say yes, okay, it doesn't come up with anything, because there are no skills associated with the Cerberus. And so I can't put on things like obtain a lock-on faster, uh, increase no durability, increase speed, and in, uh, the uh, like any of the healing, the mechanic, or the f the wonder worker healing abilities. I can't put any of that on. So I was kind of de facto made the choice was made for me to put advanced repair unit on, so I could at least have some kind of healing. And the same actually goes for not this bot but the next bot. Well, the same goes for all the bots, but in this particular one the Nightingale, I put the two Hussars and the Marquess, 
and the modules and control last stand heavy armor kit and I put the quantum radar because I wanted to have at least one bot in my hangar that had quantum radar that I could try and see if I could take out nightingales in the air because when nightingales fly they heal but they're also in stealth and they're in stealth for quite a long time so I wanted to actually be able to test out the quantum radar on those bots and again if you look at the Adrian pilot for this one I can't choose any other skills so again, no healing, uh, n nothing else to actually help my bot itself in combat. So obviously that will change in future test servers. So if we go to the next bot here, which is the Ravana, I put the three Corona on here, and the modules I put on here were anti-control, last stand, heavy, heavy armor kit, and I put, again, the advanced repair unit on here because I cannot choose any healing skills for my pilot. Just quickly look at the pilot here. Again, it's increased weapon damage from the Adrian pilot itself, and I have increased damage and shock grouping for the Corona. Because, again, those skills are associated with the weapons. They're not associated with the bot. And if we go back here, come on, lag. And if we look at the last one, I threw in the Aojun because I expect there's going to be quite a few of the Ao Mings in there, and I want some kind of a flying bot to get up and actually shoot them. So for here, the I am running the two Avengers in the modules. I have anti-control, last stand, heavy armor kit, and I have the quantum radar on here, again, for the Nightingale. Uh, and, of course, if there happens to be any Lokis or stuff like that running around completely ruining the tester because they're going and grabbing all the beacons, and nobody can kill them. So I, if we look at quickly the Alika uh, Renner pilot here, increased weapon damage, I have uh, healing... Increased durability, increased speed. I have the Wonder Worker healing as well. The Aojun increased weapon damage and the Dodger so that any of the Octa modules, which happens to be the Quantum Brighter on this bot, will recharge faster. So anyways, that is a quick overview of my hangar. And let's just hop into a game or two here and see how it goes and pray and hope that it's not completely full of lag and unplayable. So, without any further ado, let's get into the action. Okay, what do we have here? Domination. I don't have any beacon runners. So, what are we going to do here? Uh, let's start with the Ravana and see how that goes. Let's use this dash. Try to go here and grab this beacon. Well, this isn't that bad of a beacon runner. Now, I could go get this beacon, but I want to test this body. I don't really want to lose it, and I don't think anybody's coming with me. Yeah, there's nobody. So we have one guy. I thought he was AFK. But... All right, so... Okay, is anybody going to go up and get... Okay, finally, somebody's getting that beacon up there. Okay, let's go down here. Am I not moving? I'm not locked down. Come on, move. What the heck? What the hell happened? What a buggy test server. Jeepers, Christ. Come on. Oh, that sucked. So you have to have it exactly aimed where you want to go. This blows. Wow. Okay, guys, come on. What is everybody friggin' doing? here. Oh, look at that. More lag. More lag. Try 
gonna take it, Mr. Falcon. Okay, get out of my way! Holy crap, this guy should have been dead a long time ago. And of course, look, we have more guys coming in on our side. I'm actually being shot. Somebody shoot me now. Stupid blitz here. Okay. Got our both things locked down. Got him out. Could do some damage here from afar. Not really getting very good much good. What the hell? Where did you come from? Lock. Oh. Why will this thing not lock on? Guy for the stay, keep him in the bubble. Very hard to keep a teammate in that glowing circle. Okay, shoot this guy over here. I might have to play another game there because. Doesn't seem to be many people are running the new bots. They're trying to get this guy here again. I think I'm suppressing them anyways. We're getting overrun here. This isn't kind of working out like I wanted it to. We have a tier here that is completely going to roast my, my, uh, myself here. Got to get up. I'm going to try and heal some teammates, but I don't see anybody doing much damage here. I'm trying to get this guy in, in that circle. But it's really hard to pilot this thing to keep them in the circle. You know what? I, I, I think this, this bot needs to be able to shoot at least somewhat from the air. Because it's... You're all... In order to heal your teammates, you have to be close enough. And if anybody has quantum radars, you're, you're dead. So if you're, if you're trying to heal a teammate, and you're actually in like some enemy territory or they're spawning your home base. Okay, I'm gonna drop down so I have resistance. There we go. So what next? Okay, we have this guy up here. We'll fly up. And of course the freaking leech. Okay, don't shoot him, okay? On, stay on target. Oh, oh, how long does his face shift last? Okay, we need to go get a beacon here. Okay, I, I need a drop down. I'm losing too much health up here.
Can't believe I have to go through the beef in here, Titan. Let me heal up here. Guy just use his shield. Okay, come on down. Let's heal. So, besides the two, the Cerberus and the Ravana, which I lost completely within seconds, the, the rest of the gameplay have, hasn't been that horrible. Down. Yeah, I'm gonna die here for sure. Let me get back down here. Let me get pine structure. Alright, now it's time for the ocean. Ah, oh, crap. Well, that completely sucked. I need to I need to find a different way to play those at least the Cerberus and the uh, and the Ravana because that that just really really sucked. Okay, so that's the end of game one. Let's see if we can find another game here and hopefully do a little bit better with the new bots. All right, here we go. Found a match. Team deathmatch. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah start in here. Let's play the support role to start. Let's start with the Nightingale. Maybe I can somehow hit some people from afar. Okay, what's that guy? Can I get close enough to him? Can hit him? Let's try. Okay, I'm just getting that 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 lip there of that structure. Can I get him now? Yes, I can get him easily. There's some guy right here. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna go into stealth. I'm gonna try and heal these guys. Hopefully, okay, why don't you go for the phantom behind you? I'm trying to heal you. Maybe you can help take care of that phantom. Come on. This is what I, what I was talking about before. You know, you're, if you're healing a, a robot that needs healing, uh, you're you're kind of in the middle of it. You have to be able to shoot back in the middle there. So yeah, we're gonna die here. Okay, I'm gonna go in, try to heal this guy again. Okay, somebody take it that stupid phantom jeepers. Here. Okay, good. He's dead. So I'm trying to play the support role here, here, but it's not really going very well. Okay, we have another. Oh. See, I can use my quantum ray right here, but he's going to be too fast for me. You can take him out. Oh, so close. See, this is what I mean. Like, if I was able to fly up in the air, I could have hit him. You know, maybe I can su suppress this guy a little bit. And phase shift everywhere, of course. You know, I've got to be careful because I can't survive if I land in the middle of everything. See, this is what makes it like, how, how can I support my team? In this bot, if I can't go over top of them to heal them, if I'm if I'm going to land and be completely vulnerable, come on, I oh, piece of crap. I want that Loki taken care of.
impressed him at least. So I'm gonna land right by. See, gonna, this Falcon's gonna definitely take me out here. Areas guy. I'm trying to suppress this guy up here. Maybe if I can land up on top of this structure here. I'm gonna be exposed, but I've suppressed them. And I'll see if I take them out here before I end up dying. Ooh, I have another nightingale here, so that's good. Okay, so let's try and get this falcon down behind us. I don't know what it is with falcons on the test circuit, but they are incredibly strong. And this guy just uses quantum radar. Okay, there, I just pressed him. Pressing him. Still trying to suppress him. He just went into stealth. Shoot him. There we go, we got a kill. Well, that's the other thing I wanted to mention on this test server. Uh, I wanted to actually equip on one or two of these bots Shield Breaker, but Shield Breaker was not available to be selected. So that was kind of disappointing. You have something on, on the live server, and you can't actually choose it. That's another stupid monkey running around. See, I do at least a little bit of damage with this built in weapon, but not really a lot. What I think would be a, a good compromise is in flight mode, you can fire all your weapons, but they only do 50% damage. At least then you, you, can, you can do something. Oops, yeah, well, looks like that's an outming there. I want to get into one of these other bots here. I'm going to try and go over here and help heal this guy. We have an Arthur down there. We have an Alming in the air. So I'm trying try to suppress this, the uh, Alming here. So I don't care if I land it in the open here, because I actually want it in this bot. I want to try and do something else. I'm out. Let's bring in the Ravana now. Try to rush in here. Let's bring out the shield. Get the shield again. Hopefully, get in the last stand. Let's rush over here so he can't shoot me. Rush back. Go. Get him out. Oh, we got our two Arthurs coming in. Oh, gotta get out. Gotta go. Gotta go. Trying to shoot them on their sides here a little bit. Heal up a little bit. Dash out. Oh, I, shoot. I thought, thought I had a second dash ready. I need to heal again. Eight seconds left. 18, 18, no oh, crap. I can't go out that that guy has. I don't know what the guy has up there. Okay. Go over here. Okay, so I suppressed him. I'm not suppressed him, lock him down. Alright, so okay, I'm gonna have to bring in the Al Ming because I need some rockets for these guys. Take out the earth. Now, come on, stay locked on. I don't want to shoot at that guy over there. There's one Arthur down. Get my weapons reloaded over here. Okay, I'm gonna land here and heal. 
Man, there's a lot of Arthurs over here. Any more shots should do it. There we go. If I can. Okay, he's down, there's one Arthur down there. I kind of want to get a little bit more footage of, this, of the servers. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here and behind cover. He's not. I'm gonna hit that structure though. Come on, get out. Get out. That was a hit. That was a hit too. Why is he not taking damage? I thought splash damage went through the shield. Let me heal a little bit here. What do we have here? We have a Nightingale flying up. Okay, so he's just suppressing me, so I'm not even going to bother shooting. And I'm being suppressed. Being suppressed some more. Come on. Ah, oh, shoot. The game ended. I wasn't paying attention at the time. I wanted to try to drop into my Cerberus. Well, at least we had some decent gameplay, I think, with the... Uh, already done. Uh, with the Nightingale, as well as the Ravana. See how we did here. 1.9 million, three kills. Eh, all right, I guess. I do wish I, I would have kept a little bit more... Uh, I w would have paid a little bit more attention to the time then I, I would have just scrapped my bot and dropped him with the Cerberus. Alrighty, everybody, uh, my final thoughts. It's, it's going to take me some time to really formulate my true opinion on these bots. Uh, the Cerberus, I just, I really couldn't get a scenario that I could really use it effectively and, and see how it ran. One of the things I noticed is the built-in weapon. You have to be extremely precise of when you hit that ability to hit a bot. And I think that's actually a good thing. Uh, I don't think the ability should be like a scourge or something where yeah, as long as you're locked on, it'll hit the target regardless. So I just, I wasn't expecting it to be quite like that. So I wasn't really prepared for it. The, the one time I was able to use my Cerberus. Uh, the fact that it has suppression, lockdown, and damage over time. It, it's a community bot. That's what the community decided upon. Whether I necessarily agree with it or not is another story. Uh, I, I do think it's actually weak on hit points. So I've always, I'm always the type of person where I say it has to be balanced in the game. You can't, you shouldn't have something completely OP in absolutely every single area. So I'm glad to see that it has some kind of weakness. Although it does have a pretty strong Aegis shield when it comes to the regeneration rate of it. So that is a plus for it. And... Other than that, uh, servers, it's okay. I'll, I'll have to play with it some more. I, I put Calamity and Scourge on here really because I wanted to put on skills associated with it. For instance, uh, reduce speed for, for locking onto a target, etc. So I was really disappointed to find out that you couldn't put any skills related to the bots and some of its you know, related weapons on these particular bots and, and the pilots on them. So maybe in, in a future test server, we'll be able to do that a little bit more accurately. The Nightingale, uh, I said it in one of my games, I really think you should be able to fire in the air. I don't think you should be able to fire at the full power you currently have. Uh, like I said, all, all bots should have a weakness. But the thing with the Nightingale, if you're trying to heal and be a support bot, you have to fly over top of where the action is you know, 70 or 80% of the time. Otherwise, you're sitting back and you're healing campers, which is not, I don't think, the intended purpose of this bot. 
If you want to be up in the fray trying to heal some of your teammates that are brawling, you have to be able to fight back. So my suggestion to Pixonic would be allow us to fire back, but the weapons only deal 50% of their damage. I, I think that is a, an appropriate and a balanced solution to it. There's just so many teams I'm in there. And, and A, it, it's hard to actually fly over top of a person, see where your circle is, and keep them in there. Because they can't see you. You're flying right above them. So it's, it's easier for you as a pilot of Nightingale to try to keep one of your teammates in the circle than for them to try to, to keep themselves in a circle. Because it is kind of hard, even on the ground, to see that glowing green dome or whatever it is uh, around you. So... I think there needs to be some kind of tweaks there about how the area of effect of the healing is displayed on the the screen for the pilots themselves. But yeah, I, I really do think you need to be able to fire at least limited in the air of the Nightingale so you can actually be a support bot. You can be up there healing. You're in stealth, and if somebody has quantum radar, you're essentially screwed because you can't fire back. Uh, the Ravana, it, it's it'll take me a little bit longer to get used to. I the second the first game, it's just completely sucked. I I knew when I dropped in, I was trying to use it as a beacon runner, and if you remember on the castle map, I, I made the decision not to start not to go down to the bridge because I was just going to get completely wasted. But they the entire team had basically leeches and falcons <laughs> and phantoms, <laughs> so hardly anybody was even testing any of the new stuff. So we got completely overrun. So it goes to show you that it, with the current meta of Phetum, uh, Phantoms and Leeches and Aojuns, I don't think these bots are going to be overpowered in comparison. Again, this is just my first look at it. I, I reserve the right to completely change my mind in future test servers. But at least compared to that particular game we had, I didn't find the Ravana that overpowered. It does have a heck of a lot of HP, that's for sure, and maybe when it's leveled up to Mark II level 12, it would be an absolutely insane tank. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. The second game, I had some good gameplay with it. I think I was playing a lot more smart and strategic with it. And I think that's what you have to do with that bot. You have to play strategic and use those invulnerable dashes to your advantage. And when you come out of the invulnerability state, make sure you're not really out in the open, unless they're not even looking at you. You can fire off some rounds. So anyways, th those are my thoughts. Uh, the only thing I would say to Pixonic is fix your friggin' test server in a lag. It's absolutely atrocious. At least the games I played, they were okay. There was a couple moments of lag. But inside the hangar itself, it should not take somebody 72 minutes to set up one single hangar with the bots, the weapons, the pilots, and the titans. It, it was just absolutely insane. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And until next time, Cause some mayhem on the field for me.